guys. Oh, my throat is <laughs> and swelling. Um, today I thought I would make a video on how to do a contortion handstand. This has been again one of the videos which you guys have asked to see. Um, so I thought I'd finally get around to making it. And it does require you to be able to obviously already do a good handstand and have a, a very good degree of flexibility in your back. So make sure if you are going through this tutorial you have those two things, otherwise probably best to refer back to other tutorials on like handstand, handstand alignment um, and like back flexibility and things. But I hope you enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and let's get on with a contortion handstand. First of all we're going to warm up the back, so we're going to get into our cat cows, dropping the lumbar spine to the floor, lifting the thoracic spine to the ceiling. We're just going to move through from the cat to the cow and then slowly circling round the body. Then we're going to go into cobras, starting with the hands in line with the chest and then driving the arms straight and pressing the chest back. You can keep the legs closer together if you want to, you'll probably feel a bit more of a stretch. Engage the glutes as you're leaning back and then lowering back down. Again, do about five to ten of these. Next, we're going to get into chest rolls. So the feet are coming over the head and then extending and then coming back up. If you can't currently do a chest roll, then do watch my chest roll tutorial and I'll put a link below. Yep, so fully extending the legs and then coming back up. And now we're going to get into swan, so laying on the front, grabbing the ankles and driving the legs straight, trying to bring the chest up towards the legs and then back down. I'm just going through a really quick kind of back stretch, but I would suggest doing a full back stretch um, before you go into the contortion handstand. Now we're just going to warm up the wrists because obviously a handstand requires lots of wrist strength, wrist mobility. So we're going to start off doing wrist rocks, rocking the weight forwards and then onto the knuckles. And do about five to ten of those again. And then the hands are going to go from side to side and you're going to rock the weight from one side to the other. Then the hands are going to face towards the body and you're just going to bring the weight backwards trying to keep the heel of the hands on the ground. And then turning the palms over, pressing down lightly. Now we're going to go into wall walks, so you're going to walk the hands all the way down the wall and then you're going to drive the shoulders or the armpits into the wall and then walk the hands up. Again focusing a bit on strength and mobility in this position. Also getting that confidence to go back and then armpits to the wall, try and extend the legs, get a bit more of a stretch in that position and then walking the hands up the wall. Next we're going to go into a handstand and then we're going to arch, so we're going to walk the feet down the wall and then we're going to walk them back up. So again we're getting that confidence to go into that contortion position with the aid of the wall and then coming back into a handstand and taking one step further away from the wall so you can get a bit more of a stretch and then coming down. Now we're going to start with the feet against the wall and tucking the hands underneath the shoulders into the bridge position, taking the hands one step further into the wall and then we're simply going to press the feet into the wall into that contortion handstand position and then come down. So again you can do one or two reps of those. So bridge position, feet pressed against the wall and then coming down. And again, feet against the wall, pushing the shoulders and coming down. Then I'm just coming into a pike fold because obviously it's quite intense on the back um, and <laughs> I have to do a little exit out of the wall. 
Now we're just going to do the same again, but this time we're going to try and raise onto the toes as well. That was a little bit far away from the wall to begin with. But we're getting back into that contortion handstand position. This time we're trying to put a bit less weight on the feet. So if you can, try and just raise onto the toes and for the balance a bit more through the arms rather than relying so much on the feet. And then coming out of that position. And we're just going to go into one more. So laying on your back, hands under the shoulders, pressing up into that bridge position. Hands coming closer into the wall. Feet against the wall, raising up onto the toes. And you can try and get a bit more mobility if you can and lower the legs a little bit and then coming out. Now we're going to go into the full contortion handstand without a wall. I had something in my in my face. So pressing up into that bridge position. And then you're going to raise into the toes. Feet are coming in to the hands, raising the legs, and then coming back up. And then the other entry is kicking into it, coming into a stag handstand, and then bring the other leg down into that full contortion position, and then coming out of it. And lastly, we're going to go back into another stag position, bring the other leg to join. And then I'm coming out of it forwards. And just to show you one more, starting in bridge position again. Feet are walking into the hands, raising up onto the toes, into that contortion handstand position, and then I'm coming forwards out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As I said at the beginning, um, do make sure if you're implementing it into your training, you can already do a perfect handstand and you already have a good degree of flexibility in the back. But other than that, um, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give us a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you for my next video.